Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you the January 1st edition of the GGG Seeds. This will be GGG, all caps, dash 08, because this is the 8th map, 070119. Okay, this one, uh, the spawn is at 107, 63, 109. And we are going to go up and see what's going on. Oh my gosh, there is a shipwreck right over there. All right, we will be going to the south, um, out to about 600. No, nope, we're going to be going out to about 600. Yeah, on the on the uh, Z axis. Actually, I hadn't written it down yet. Is that a ruins over there? That is definitely a ruins right there. A frozen ruins. No, it is. It's um, um, sand. Is that was that a tropical fish? What is that? Wow, that's pretty. That's a tropical fish out here in the middle of the ice. Maybe that's a frozen fish. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. I don't think. Wow. Okay, anyway, so this one, let's see, this is what? This would have been the front, the prow of the ship here, I believe, yeah. Pretty sure. Okay, and there is, yes, this would be the one that would be down in the hull. Um, it has your treasure map in it. And the other one would have been up above that, which would be down here. And then over here, this one should be the food chest. Yep, there it is, right there. Yeah, there we go, food chest. All right, with, with other stuff. But no iron and uh, lapis and all that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, have a shipwreck right off there, right off your spawn area. And we're going to continue. We were right in here, right in here, and go south from here. And so we have the, what do we have here? This is uh, Snowy Mountains. It looks like the same once you get past the river. So you have spruce, you have frozen rivers here. I think they actually call them frozen rivers. Now let's check. Get over this area here. Uh, frozen River. Yep, that's what it is. And then this beautiful mountain thing here. More mountains over that way. Probably lots of resources in there. Don't see any pumpkins or anything, but you can find them out here at times too. A lot of times these areas are really rich in iron. I don't know if it's planned that way or not. I think so. Because you're under mountain areas. Okay, what do we have going on here? We're going to go to about 600. We're almost there on the Z. Oh, that is, that's, oh, we have a cold village right here because those were paths. They are paths. There we go. So here we have one of these neat lodges. Where's the door? Uh, around the other side. Um, that, I think, maybe was supposed to be an igloo. <laughs> it didn't quite form. We have lanterns all over the place. Um, here we have the blast furnace. So, yeah, we there's a uh, an armorer here somewhere. I don't see any villagers. Oh, there he is. There's one down there. If we can get him to follow us and he's not an armorer, he would probably become one. Uh, what do we have? A, a farmer here. I love their... their uh, snowy costumes. You know, they've, they've got on their parkas, okay? Um, yeah, that looks like it might have been another igloo that was supposed to happen there. We have a city center type thing here. There's the bell. Another. He's not a farmer. What is he? Anything? He's unemployed, but here's a farmer. Whoop, I went right on past him. There we go. Oh yeah, he wants hay. Uh, wheat, rather. Oh, another guy over here. So we have three farmers over here. Pretty cool. Oh, what's this? This stretches way over here. What do we have here? Another lodgy type of a thing. All right, this is just a, a home with a furnace. Nice. Gonna stay warm there. There's another farm. My good. Oh, what? What is this guy over here? He is another farmer. So this, they guys, these guys make the best of their daylight hours. Oh, look. There's an igloo on the hill and a couple more. It didn't form all of the. Boy, they don't have much place to sleep for all of the uh, villagers we have out here. So that could be a problem. Oh, this is the one we went into to start with, yeah. So yeah, if you come to, came into this one, you would want to... Uh, oh, there's some more houses over there. You would want to... Uh, 
be oh, come on up making sure they have enough beds okay here we go this one this one there's the backs of both of those there are two igloos joined together almost it looks like there Ooh, two furnaces in there these are not blast furnaces they're just furnaces for warmth there we go another one of those and another one of these just like oh yeah that one has a furnace in it and a chest nice and let's see the door to this igloo is over um, is it actually joined it may be um, okay there we go right over here I think if it's viable at all there's oh that I've seen this in a wooden house but not in an igloo that's really cool I am really curious about how do you get into this one I think this is supposed to be it here I don't really like to do this when we're just investigating that's not it that just may be snow nope there's the door there we go just a little place like that all right so um, yeah we're out just past where we probably wanted to be and we're gonna go back to spawn which is so snowy stuff this way basically well, we landed there. Uh, teleport to 107, 63, 109. All right, so now let's turn and go not to the north, to the east. There we go. Excuse me. Up over the hill. And we're going to go out over the ocean. So it starts out with cold ocean, but I think from the looks of it that it's not staying cold. Let's see what we have here. There's a ruins right there. So a couple of ruins really close to spawn already. Um, ship right there, full one. Should have all of the chests in there. Okay. And that's far enough away from that other one that you might have a different treasure chest also. I'm not sure how many blocks away you have to get before that happens. There is a ship on its side, right there, full ship. Probably all three chests in there. You only you might have to dig a little bit. And look over here. Um, that would be like if you were going south. That this would be very close. This must be jungle wood. Yep. Look at that. Really cool. Jungle and what is that? Spruce, I think. Maybe oak. Um, <laughs> I'm not familiar enough with my own textures yet when they're not right next to each other. That's just gravel over there. All right, so we were going to go, we were going east from here, basically. So lots and lots of ships and some ruins. And we're going to go out. Oh, we've already gone out past 500 this way. But yeah, so this is big ocean stuff out here to the east. Okay, going back. And we'll turn and go to the north. Ah, is that that ruins? Yeah, that ruins. It's right over there, I think. Yeah, we went and saw that from the other ship. Okay, what do we see this way? Definitely tropical fish out there, I think. It seems so strange because you have all the icy stuff. Oh, there's a dark forest right there. Is that on an island? And there is a ship right over there. See it? Right there. Tiny little, tiny, I did it again. I'm going to stop saying tiny little. It's either little or it's tiny. And I think actually this is little. And it may not even be an island. But it, it has a beachy shore here. And part of, that's not even a half a ship. Wow. Or is it on, it's on its side. So yeah, it's about half of it on its side. No. Yeah, it is. It digs into the sand there. So yeah, you have to search for the, uh, chests probably there would be at least at least one there yeah somewhere in there all right so let's go out this way we were headed that way dark forest regular forest oh birch forest right there I like that you get the dark and the light together you can have fun with that okay um, oh I don't have there we go now I open it. Yeah, we're not. We got about 200 more blocks. What is that over there to the left? Is that another ship? Goodness sakes, it's something. Not sure what it is. 
Uh huh. Part of another ship right there. See, and a Plains Island, I think it is there. Lots of beach. So this is this is um, not like some of the other ocean ones we've seen. This has some big islands. There is a little isolated part of the ocean over there, a little bay. Plains. Once you get past the uh, um, dark forest. Nice plains there, and we're almost out. I think maybe that might join together, or almost. Yep, and there's a ruins down there, a couple of them. Nice, and there's a ship over to the left with birch wood in it. Another ruins over that way, too. Wow, lots and lots of ocean treasure in this one. Okay, so we're going to go back to spawn, and we're going to go to the west. Um, I, I had this set um, I thought I had it set to that but I might not have I meant to okay so we're going to the west and that's where that ship is the first one that we saw right from spawn and the ruins there okay and then the ocean all out here, more cold is this snowy tundra. Uh, I don't want to be over the river when I do this. Uh, snowy tundra right here. And we're going to go out to, let's see, we started at 107, so about 600 something, 607. Oh, look at that. Wow, looks like an asteroid. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks like one of those tunnel diggers, you know, that they use to do the underwater tunnels. And look what's in there. Creepers and zombies. I'm not sure, but I think there might have been an Enderman in there. <laughs> um, all sorts of stuff down in there. Deep ocean areas all over the place. So, yeah, this is very aquatic, and yet there is a lot of stuff you can do in it. You can s set yourself a goal to find you know like a certain amount of ships or just log how many ships you get and have a competition with somebody else maybe do something like that here's another full ship on nope nope about three quarters of a ship on its side yeah the the wood part comes all the way back here you might find three chests in there if you dig in the sand I see swamp over there tiny planes here that is tiny you might even call that tiny little <laughs> Okay, yeah, definitely swamp over here, and we are far enough. Um, that looks like a ship might have landed in it and broken the crust, you know what I'm saying? All these broken ships around here. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Lots of different things to explore, lots of aquatic stuff, more ruins. So if you like having some land masses and yet still a lot of ocean to explore, this would be a good map. All right, we're going to head back. And I'm going to hit that again, and one more time. There we go. All right, this is where we started, facing south. And I will say goodbye for now. Hope you enjoyed looking at this seed and that you might have fun with it. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.